Have you seen TV shows that have been uploaded to YouTube? The surprising thing quite often is the view counts are really low. They just don't do very well. Now you'd think with all the professionalism, expense and experience that goes into TV production that uh, TV shows would do way better than amateur produced videos on YouTube, but they don't. And I think the reason is that TV shows for YouTube just aren't good enough. Because so much of uh, what goes into TV shows is extra production values and all that jazz and a YouTube audience just wants the content. I'm thinking of watching America's Funniest Home Videos and Bob Saget uh, back in the 90s, he'd go on and on and on about introducing the next clip and I'm sitting there, it's like, just show me the damn clip. This is the difference between TV and YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, you just have the damn clip on TV there's all this extra stuff that really nobody cares about. In film, you have the saying, lights, camera, action. And I think that all came from the fact that cameras were expensive and complicated to run. So basically, you get everything ready, and when the crew is ready, make it happen, now. Now that sort of thing works when the whole premise of what you're showing is made up, such as if you're making a movie or a sitcom, but if it's about something factual, something that you can learn something from, something real, it doesn't work that well. Because you just can't have the film crew sitting around and waiting for things to happen for just the right moment. And even if the uh, show is about somebody talking, if the guy's not in just the right mood, well, what are you going to do? You can't have the film crew waiting for the guy to be in just the right mood to deliver his thing. So having a guy with a camera on a tripod is actually a much better solution because at that point you're ready at any time and when the moment is right, you're ready to film. Granted, you're not going to produce anything as smooth as what's on TV, but that doesn't actually matter that much. So with a film crew, you end up with very well produced video of less than ideal subject matter. And YouTube is just much more about individuals making inspired content. I think it's sort of analogous to literature. You never have a corporation that writes a great novel. They're always written by individuals. And the reason for that is it doesn't really cost anything to write a book. With film, it used to be different because there's huge costs involved and you need a large crew, but it doesn't make for the best creative content. And so put it all together, I think the stuff that is created for TV is just not good enough for YouTube. Sure, it's smooth, the lighting is all right and all that, but the content matters and that's where they fall short. So if you're an aspiring YouTube creator, heaven forbid, don't try to emulate a TV show because that sort of stuff only flies when people don't have much of a choice.